So that's another disaster today. Stuart and Andy. Disgusting. Disgusting. Roll up to the greatest show in the world. Lights, camera, action. Good morning. Here's my van. So, where are you, guys? We, didn't, we ended up moving yesterday because there was literally zero reception there. There's people recording there. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. Anyway, so we stayed here. I got the view of the Umber Bridge and the photographers taking photos of summer over there. I'm not sure what, but yeah, we stayed here this morning, and kind of. There's a lot of photographers behind that car. Man. It's because of celebrity. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, can I have uh, out of my window? Why yeah. you want my ice cream hat, yeah? yeah? Can I have a bacon and egg sandwich out of this window? Please? No. So, we're going to move on. Uh, this one is on part for nights, guys. I'm not telling you where it is. If you can find it, you can find it if you can't get it. Because <laughs> it is another local one. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a great stop here, isn't it? I love it here. It's, uh, it's so peaceful. Urban park, all that. Ours is opposite. You've got massive car park. There's never hardly anybody here. Ever. You've got the view. Of and um, the dirty umber. You've got the. Um, it's got a real good upload speed, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Because yeah, honest, where we were used to do that secret hide up, we just we just couldn't stay there. And this just, one, right? You, know, you get the sunrise and the sunset. Yep, yeah. you do. So that's what we're just waiting for. But the sun's up, but you can't see it because the clouds. camera over there. You can see it over there. I don't think we're going to get a. Sunrise it's up, look, can you clouds. see it, guys? But yeah. And it's still quite early. Yes, it's very early. It is, I'll tell you. 7.42 in the morning. 7.42. So I've got the kettle on. I'm going to make us a travelling brew and we're going to get on the road. Yeah, we're going to uh, make a slow ride across the country a little bit, aren't we? Crossing down a bit. So I just thought I'd show you my view. I'll spin it around see if I can get these photographers in it. So we've got, look, well, you've got the Umber Bridge. That's Barton. George's over there somewhere. Yeah, George's further around, love. And just on that pole there, there's a Pules on Toast sticker from last year. There's a bin here, guys. No other services. All them cameras are pointing over there. Don't know what they're recording. They're probably thinking the same about me. They're probably thinking, what's that silly cow recording? They're all pointing at that. that power plant thing there with a big chimney. I, I think, well, there's no dolphins in there. I think they might be doing birds, maybe. Bird maybe. watching. <laughs> might be following these annoying geese. Well, they're from Hull, so just keep your eye out on Hull paper, Hull Live. Don't know what they are. If they find somewhere, it'll be Definitely in there. Definitely professional water. photographers, they're impressive cameras, yeah. them. Not as impressive as mine because I'm in front of it. <laughs> right, I'm getting in. I'm back. I'm going to attempt to get some footage of these photographers. Well, I'm going to attempt. I am going to get some footage of these photographers. They're looking at some over there. And there's loads of them now. Look at them, my boys. I think the bird watchers because they've got binoculars out as well. Yeah. Ask him. Let him look at some birds. They're either bird watchers or fishy watchers, I think. See, me personally, I wouldn't be sat with a camera looking at birds. I'd have gone around town or something. I mean, they're not going to hit one of many birds walking down there. I don't mean that kind of bird love. I meant birds with wings that flap. You'll flap when you're naked. I need a postcode off you, my dear. Right, I'm going. So, guys, just in case you didn't realise, <laughs> this is the pop up car park. 
pop-up car park. That is the pop-up campsite for the NEC. £48 a night. We're not staying there. Because I'm not paying £48 to park in a car park. We're about a mile and a half up road. We've got <laughs> bus to get here. <laughs> so we're just having a walk today. Just finding out the layout. Because every other time we've come, we've always come in the car. And we parked right near it and then just walked in. So today we are just scouting about, getting my bearings, seeing what's what's about. Yeah. And how far it is away. <laughs> yeah, and and Stuart and Andy uh, have told us it's right up here because we met them this morning. So they told us it's about eleven minutes walk this way. Yeah, I did say eleven minutes. Guess it was battery died for a change. So anyway, like I said, you can go in there in a Torah, just in case it cut me off and I didn't realise. Or a motorhome. But like I said, I ain't paying £48 to park in a car park. <laughs> for anybody. That's more than a bloody campsite. Oh, look at that, guys. They've saran wrapped them all. They're pulling off all the V-dubs off. They've saran wrapped them so they don't have to wash them when they get them here. That's why I think they've saran wrapped them. <laughs> so, once we're actually at the NEC, there's a bus stop here that's only five minutes in. Um, yeah. And we're going to attempt to get on it. <laughs> Not today. Yeah. We'll have a go at the bus. We're going to have a go at the bus, love. We won't yeah. be running today. We'll I'm not even bit. sure we're supposed to be in here today. We will. We'll so, wait. taking you from the car park to the event hall in no time. That's what it says. But we're going to have a go at walking to the hall. So, let's see how far it is. Can't be that far. In the bus. A few moments later. I can't believe the bus is even running today. <laughs> so I can't to walk. believe it. I'm so shocked. <laughs> Thumbnail. I just realised I've got my socks on. <laughs> my slippers off. You haven't got your socks on. Yeah, I've got my slipper socks on. <laughs> I just realised. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to put my trainers on. Council birds for you. Not wrong with being a council bird. Quite proud of that. No, I'm not. Uh, uh, excuse me. Didn't I once get told a story about when your mum and dad took you to the seaside for a day? And you got all the way there and you had your slippers on? Yeah, well, I was a kid. Not no, 14 years old. 13 years old. And? 13 he was, he wasn't a kid, he was 13. And I was still in my nappies. <laughs> well, yeah, you wore them till you was 15 because you pissed the bed. Yeah. I've got photos somewhere, I'm going to dig them out. A Gareth putting his own Terry Towley nappy on when he was about 13. <laughs> so we're just walking through. There's quite a few motorhomes here already. One, two, three, four, five, six. About 12 just in this car park alone. Now, it says £18.95 to park. For the day? For the day? What's that about? But the halls are there. Want that? The one that far of a walk, I'm not gonna lie. So I feel like N3 zone B. I feel like last time I came that's where we parked. N3 zone B. I think. <laughs> I believe it's locked. I'm going to have to walk all round there now to go all the way round because that's locked. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I had to walk all these extra 10 steps. Quite good this year. 2,025 caravans at 2023 20, prices. Look at that. Sat on a stand for £19.20. Definitely might upgrade while I'm here. So it, 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 it was a bit longer than 11 minutes to get it, you like? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Over here, and obviously it's not open today. But oh, Gareth's supposed yeah. to come and see someone when he gets here, so that's what we're talking about. Oh, look at this. A cat. <laughs> A the cat, cat show, show for millionaires. <laughs> you know, Mr. and Mrs. H. Wedding, Wedding show. Wedding show. Well, yeah, we'll forget about that one. Grand designs. Grand designs live. Oh I Bet that would have been good. Yeah, we've missed that. 
And then we're home and caravan show, 15th to 20th yeah. of October. We've missed all these. Mr. and Mrs. H ignored him, that was in September, that cat show. You can't see it, sorry. <laughs> Il Devo, though, you could go see them, Gareth. Opera singers. Oh, right. Simon Cowell's opera singers. Still got no, uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Walking in the people. It's all a bit dead today, I think they're just setting in for foot. I bet we're not even allowed in. <laughs> they actually let us in. It was like you can come in if you want, they can hear this band. Probably a day early. We're a day early, we've only come to pick up as, um, I don't know, some press sort of pass. Pass, press pass. So it nipped to pick his press passes up, and I was like, you can go in and have a look if you want, but I need an IVs to go in. Because they're still setting up and there's vehicle movement. Yes. But well, we'll give you an insight of what it's like already. What well, it's like setting up, isn't it? Might as well. <laughs> hey up, guys. With the sponsors open. I think it's for the staff, obviously, and everybody else setting up. Coffee and pastry place is open and the laundry is open. Pretty much everything else is closed. Um, I have to buy an Ivy's jacket. And because it's the NEC, they're quite expensive, so... I think I'll just wait while tomorrow, I'll just pick up my passes. Because, <laughs> um, either that... Failing that, we could always come back later. I've got Ivy's jackets in the motorhome, so... I just don't want to pay 20 quid for Ivy's jackets for one day. Yeah, we've got two in motor on because you need two if you go to Europe. Yes, you do. If you broke down outside at road, you need them. So, so, when, you, so when you go abroad and you buy this Europe pack, which we have made a vlog about it before, yes. you'll only find out there's one Ivy's in it, so make sure you add one to it. Yes, so I walked from hole 20 right back down to hall six because he said i needed to go down there to pick up my tickets and the woman at hall six says i need to come back down to hall 18. <laughs> so i'm getting my steps in there people i'm missing in no time so i thought i'd show you it's it's all right in here today guys do you know why no one's here it's empty i love it <laughs> not that i don't like people as you've all seen i love people but thousands of people all at the same time it's a little bit much sometimes isn't it but like I said look at that it's dead in here today Gareth assures me he knows what he's looking for there's a cloak on here guys there's a few others dotted around as well so if you don't want to carry your coats all day drop them off at the cloak room I don't know how much it is, I'll find out tomorrow for you. What? I'm just telling them that if they don't want to carry the coats all day, they can leave them in the cloak room. It's 30 degrees out there. <laughs> it's absolutely not. It is in here. Back in my shorts. It is in here. So, press office. I found it. But it's not open. I will howl if it's not open. Organiser's office, go in there. Try the organiser's office. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. Look at him by the my visions, isn't it? Yeah. No, because we yeah, could have still gone in there. We could have still gone in there if we'd have had the ideas. Yeah. Do you want to drop them an email and see what time they're going to be here for us to pick them up? Well, Andy says he's coming at two o'clock. Which is two hours. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we could have waited about two o'clock. <laughs> oh, lots of motor homes getting set up in there. Oh, this one's got its door on the wrong side. <laughs> well, it's small, this, isn't it? Yeah, very small. I'm not going to lie, that's a nice looking van, isn't it? It is um, small. I don't know how many metres it is, maybe six. It's tall though. He's not going to be able to get out down there, people. It is warm in here, guys. 
and I mean warm. More cloak rooms, they're all over. Two hours to kill. I have two hours, I'll go back to my van. Look at that. I hope it's not back of a uh, motorbike when we had it. Take this love while I go to the toilet. Yeah, when I had spider, could have had this on back of it. Oh, there's a lot of people that are going to be watching this video. Hey, if you're on tour and YouTube family, if you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. So, guys, I'm going to go back to the motor for a little bit. Because uh, press office isn't open well too. Because guys don't do his research. And um, I'm not buying iVisas in there. Because they don't open well too. I will bring my iVis and I will show you around when we come back. Um, I don't actually intend to buy anything in there this week. Because I feel myself personally. It's massively inflated in there. The price of everything. But for prosperity. When we come back down, we're going to go in with a spoons. And we'll see if a pint in with a spoons is the same in an EC than I'm it is normally. That. I'm happy with that. Do you know, just normally, just one. What? <laughs> just one. Just a pint, Gareth. So, yes. One glass. I'll have one glass of wine, yeah. I'll have one glass then. <laughs> Gareth, I'll have a keg. <laughs> So, look at this. Gareth bought me the quick way, right? Quick way. Now I'm having to walk across the grass in my crocs. What's that about? And it's damp. Titty is. And to top it off, I've just watched him climb the fence. Are you actually kidding me? Are you kidding? Gareth, how am I meant to get out of here? So, for fuck. And then I'm going to get run over by these vans. You know, but I'm going to film you getting over the fence. What's well, that? Come on. There's literally no other way out. Come on. Get a leg over. I'm going to get run over now. Um, leave the fence there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why'd you bring me this way? Because it was shorter. It wasn't. It was. And now there's loads of traffic as well. I found a lovely little lake at the NEC. I wonder if there's any fish in that. No, it's, a, it's a river. Is it a river? Step here and look. It looks like a lake over there, look. It's got a pontoon on it. Oh, yeah, it might be. I think it's a river, though. I think yeah. it is a river, yeah. By the rivers of Babylon. Where we sat down. <laughs> yeah, we will. I bet you don't know what next one now, do you? Like we remember. <laughs> Your singing skills are impeccable, darling. I like a good sing song. You ready? I can sing it and I'll let you know the, the, the next line straight away. Go on then. Pepper Pig! <laughs> I'm just looking for it to see if there's any YouTuber vans over there. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I was a bit like, I don't think there will be for £48, are you? Oh no, somebody turned up with no you ticket. Oh dear. Where did you turn camera over? Where is there people watching you all the time? I have done some recording that way. People want to see, not you. I am the star of the show. Drop it in the comments if I'm the reason you watch. But I'm the celebrity. Afternoon, lovelies. I, I didn't take you for a walk back down there. Scarif was doing a bit of editing and I fell asleep. <laughs> I had a right nice nap. <laughs> Granny nap. So um, I'm going to look in the fridge, see what's lowest in date cook. Because we don't particularly fancy out. Other than we're hungry. So I'll see what's got the um, shortest date on and that's what we're having for tea. So if I don't pick you up...
drinking tonight. That's probably why. So we didn't end up going to pub. I will find out. I will do the Witherspoons research tomorrow for you though, guys. For definite. So just to check out and see if it's more expensive in there. <laughs> but yeah, so I just thought I'd let you know why we didn't go back down. And that I'd had a, a lovely nap. Love, I thought I'd just pick the camera up and ask, yeah. what the hell are you doing? I'm just getting to, to your light. Because I can smell burning. <laughs> Burn? Well done. Let's have a look. Have you took some oven? Let's have a look. Turn the oven on. Let's have a look. It's not burnt. That's burnt. It's just a bit brown on the edge. It's not burnt. Why? It's only a pint. It was pre-cooked. It, it said I had to heat That's because you're playing and you're bleeding. Ding. It said I had to heat up for 45 minutes and it's not even been in for 40 minutes. Well, so that's another disaster today. A burnt pie. I had a lovely nap. Stuart and Andy. <laughs> you're fuming about the five minute walk, aren't you? I am fuming. He said that it was an 11 minute walk. It took us about 25 minutes. <coughs> I think it'd take a normal person. 11 minutes walk, he told us, right? So we took a wander down. Do you know what I mean? I were going to phone the helicopter. You know, we're going to come in, pick us up and take us to NEC. You know, because I'm a celebrity, you know. Not far away from Mr B subscribers yet, so don't forget to subscribe. I'm not far off a million subs now. <laughs> yeah, so Stuart and Andy. Disgusting, disgusting. You told us 11 minutes and we took nearly, what, 25 minutes to walk down there? About 18 minutes, Gareth. No, it took a long time. I've got to look after my body and my legs, you see. Sweetie, I actually think that's actually our fault, not Stuart and Andy's. Well, it's their that's fault they said 11 minutes. Usually, if it's more than that, we'd have got a taxi so off the helicopter. They probably meant for normal fit unfat people like themselves not fatties like us they probably meant normal people take 11 minutes to walk yeah i have to walk on a side to side <laughs> well we know you do you know what i mean you walk like that don't you like rich said thanks like for that. that richard yeah i thought that were hilarious <laughs> hilarious they really like that huh? i've got a photo guys so have you ever come on a van life meet up or meet up with Stuart and andy uh, I recommend when they say go for a little walk, you ignore it and go do your own walk. I like doing this because I know it annoys Gareth. Just in case you don't know who Stuart and Andy are, Gareth's going to drop a link. They do a cracking quiz. No, they don't. <coughs> I've never actually, I'm yet to win it, so once I've won it, I'll tell you about the quiz. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I want to win it. So what are we having for tea? Um, well done steak pie. Well done steak pie, we know that. Uh, you're having it with some mash, and I'm going to make some green bean gravy. Cheesy mash. It is cheesy mash, actually. Cheesy packet mash. Lovely. And green bean gravy. I'm just making the gravy in the green bean sauce. So, we are going to sit down and have our tea tonight. And then we're going to watch a bit of YouTube, I think. I'm going to watch some YouTube. And I'll tell you what, if there's, if there's any dicks out there on YouTube, right, I'm seriously going to take the mick out of you. Really take the mick out of you. Do you remember when I did that pregnancy test? Well, you didn't do a test. Well, not a test, <laughs> but the, that machine, I mean. I'm a millionaire! <laughs> that tense machine thing, yeah. what you did somewhere, right? Someone did a YouTube video of it. Of a reaction. I've not seen this. Haven't you seen it? No. I will put the clip up and now all of them are laughing at me disgusting a disgusting laughing at me do you know what i mean that was a serious vlog was it a gentleman that messaged you did he private message you a video of his wife laughing yeah proper in hysterics yeah he messaged me on messenger i don't know the names of them but her laugh was infectious oh it on youtube or an inbox he sent me it on an inbox <coughs> a gentleman I think it was on YouTube. I, I think it's one of our subscribers, isn't it? I think it is a subscriber, or either that, or it's a YouTuber. The self think we've got their own channel. We don't know because we don't plan as videos. So if it is a YouTube <laughs> channel, let's put our 
Well, put the clip up. I'll drop the link in the description to their YouTube channel. And if it's a sub subscriber, subscriber, then thank you very much for making that video and sending it to us and taking the mick out of us because we loved it, honestly. Oh. We loved it. Yeah, we did. So, if any other subscribers can make private videos of themselves watching us or whatever, we will insert it into our videos anytime we see it. Or upload it to your own Facebook page and tag Pews on Tour Facebook and then we'll see it. What's a funny video? It was hilarious, wasn't it? Yeah. When I saw it, when I got received it, I can't remember if I saw it or watched it. I, it I know which one you mean now, I know which video you mean. Door open. Window open. Windows open. Skylights open. And he still stinks. And I still can't <laughs> breathe. <laughs> I can remedy that for you. Ooh, ooh, that sounds good. Sat in a car park in the middle of nowhere. Living I'm in not a telling you where we are either. Living in a box. Living in a box. Poo living in a box. In a cardboard box. Number two's in a box. And living in a box. Number two's in a bag. Compost. Compost. Right, guys, I think that's enough for this vlog. Yeah, because we're going to start a fresh one tomorrow when we go. That'll be a whole new vlog in the morning, so we might as yeah. well put an end on this. It's not the longest vlog ever, but like I said, I had the best nap. <laughs> Unless you want some footage of me kipping. <laughs> Which you probably don't. I can put a clip up, no, actually. No. I'll put a clip up now if Trish is sleeping. <laughs> no, he no, won't. Yeah, I will. Because I did get it. He's snoring away. I've got proof on my YouTube. Trisha's Motor on Madness, go check it out of him snoring. Uh, stop touting my channel. How, how are this channel for your crappy channel? Have you got your thousand subs yet? No. No. 650 I had it this morning. Oh, you need a thousand, don't you? Yeah. Do you know what though? You guys, <coughs> I, say, I really appreciate it. I've noticed you're all going over, because I'm getting the same views as Pews on Tour on the videos. So you're all going over and watching them, so I do appreciate that. But if you could subscribe. It's you. completely free, isn't it? It is free. All you have to do is sign in any of your email and address. And it's good editing, because it's Gareth that does it on. All you have to do is sign in in your own email address into Google and make a Google account with your normal address and that's how you subscribe. And once you subscribe you can comment. Yeah. So even if you don't like me, subscribe and leave me some abuse, don't care. Yeah, subscribe and send us some abuse. <laughs> right, we're going. Thanks, see you later. Roll up to the greatest show in the world.